thank you all for this opportunity to stand before you. I thank God for Pastor Steve and Pastor Aaron, the work that they have begun, and the yeah. honor it is to stand in their pulpit and to preach the word of God. I thank God for God. <laughs> I thank him because he's faithful. He's the almighty God. There's, he's just good. Oh. He's just a good, good father. He, uh, there's just too, so much you can say about God. And the oh. only thing you can say about him, all the things that you say about him is good. Mm -hmm. It's good. Amen. So I'm honored and I'm grateful. Guess what I get to do? Hmm. I get to tie a pretty bow around this, the messages we yes, heard today. Nice. Amen. <laughs> because I was saying, oh my God, oh my God, that's what you said to me. Oh my God, that's what you said yeah. to me. So I get to pull it together hmm. from what you've heard today from Pastor Dave and from her dear sister, Sister Charlene. Because God gave me this message. I've got a feeling everything's going to be all right. Mm. Mm. We used to sing a song a long time ago. I don't know if they still mm -hmm. sing it in churches. Probably from where I come from, they still sing that song. But we song, song, sang this song. I've got a feeling everything's going to be yes. all right. Yes. Oh, I've got a feeling everything's going to be all right. Mm. Come on. I've come on. got a feeling everything's going to be, be all right. right. Be all right, be, be all, all right, right, be all right. right. Yeah. It is, it is, it is. I've got that feeling. This song dropped in my spirit at a time where I was roaring in the spirit. And I'm thinking, no, God, I don't want it to be all right because I want to get out of here. There was too long of a story to tell. Mm -hmm. But I was fighting the battle and the mm -hmm. resolve in my heart for that battle was for me to leave that situation and leave my job and turn it over to somebody else. But the Spirit dropped this song in my heart and said, I've got a feeling. He was going to make it all right. And so God, that's the message for us today. No matter what we go through, no matter what is happening, when you are in God and God is in you, everything is going to be all right. Because He's going to make it that way. There's going to come a time, and we're in a, a very tough time here, and Pastor mm -hmm. Dave spoke about it earlier. There are going to come some things on this earth that we have never experienced yeah. before, mm -hmm. we have never seen before. And the question is, what are we going to do? Are we going to be in faith, or are we going to be in fear? Mm, come on. And the Bible tells us, <clears throat> fear not. We are not supposed to ever be in fear. Because Jesus is our source. Jesus is our protection. Jesus will provide. Jesus is going to take care of his people during a great tribulation. Now the Bible speaks of a great, the great tribulation. But there are going to be, there can be times when there is great tribulation. Mm. Not the great the, the great tribulation. Right. But there can come times where there are great tribulations tribulations and I'm thinking we're facing those times we're facing times when we're going to see judgment fall on the wicked mm -hmm. oh, yeah amen we're going That's to see right. judgment fall on the wicked mm -hmm. God is not going to take us out from here but he's going to preserve us during those times mm -hmm. amen so yeah. we don't have to fear fear not for I am with thee be yes. not dismayed for yes. I am your God I will help thee I will strengthen thee I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness amen. Psalms 91 says he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty I will say of the Lord he is my refuge he is my source he is my provider he is my deliverance so this is the time that we have to use our words and we can have to confess that jesus is lord we have to confess that he is our protection we have to pr confess that he is our financier and he will provide food on our table and money and and anything that we will need jesus will be our source amen david mm. at a time of great I don't know really what David was going through in Psalms 55.5, but he said, 
fearfulness and trembling are come upon me, and horror hath overwhelmed me. This great man of faith was in fear. Hmm. So if David can get in fear, so can the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. And so we have to be forewarned, fear not. We are not to be in fear as we look upon this great tribulation. Mm -hmm. It's not for the people of God. We, are, we will be like the people in Egypt. We'll be in Goshen, where all of these things happen to the Egypt, the Egyptians, but it won't come nigh thy dwelling. That's mm. what Psalms 91 says. It shall not come nigh thy dwelling. Mm. Mm -hmm. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold the, help me, the, the destruction of the wicked. I'm not sure that that's the right word. But only with thy eyes shall you see what will happen to the wicked. It will not come nigh your dwelling. And what comes out of our mouth during these times is so very important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So very important. Because we dwell in the secret place. Mm -hmm. We dwell with God. If you abide in him and we abide in you, without him we can do nothing. But God is going to take care of us during these times. Mm -hmm. Rest assured, we need not to be blind. They are coming. Mm -hmm. We are not to be afraid. The Bible says, be of good courage. Yes. Be strong in the yes. Lord and in the power of his might. Fear not, because weeping may endure for a night, but joy's coming. Mm -hmm. In the morning. Mm -hmm. Joy's yes. coming. Yes. Behind this is going to be great rejoicing. Amen. It's going to be a great time for the church of God. It's going to be mm -hmm. a great time of wealth transfer. We're not out of here yet. We're, the Lord is coming for a church without spot or wrinkle or any such thing. A glorious church. Mm -hmm. We are not, this is not the last days we're in the last day but it's not the last day yeah. it's not the day of the rapture we can't leave this earth without making a great impact on this earth mm -hmm. yeah so we are not getting, going away we are going to be victorious yes. we're the light Amen. of god is going to shine in this last day mm -hmm. and it's going to shine through the church mm -hmm. yes. the fire and the glory of god yes. is going to be seen no. arise shine for thy light is coming the glory of the lord mm -hmm. has Come to be on. revealed in this earth, in this day. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fear not, fear not, fear not, because I've got a feeling everything. We just have to get over this mountain, but I got a feeling everything is gonna be all right. You have to hold strong. You have to be strong. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. That's what the Bible, uh, that's what Jesus requires of us to do. We seek his face. We run to him. When there are things that are coming that we don't understand, mm -hmm. we run to not our bank account. We don't run. And we could. I mean, there's natural things that we could do to prepare. I'm not saying that. But we need to keep our eyes focused on Jesus. Yes. That's Mom. right. We That's need right. to be, I think Charlene said that and Pastor Dave said, we need to be a family. We need mm. to be a community. Mm -hmm. We need to learn how to rely on one another yes. like Amen. they did in the book of Acts. Yes. They went Mom. from home to home mm -hmm. and shared everything that was in common. Right. You don't see them going to the government. You don't see them going to the um, whatever it is of the day. They went to, from one another. They brought all their resources and they laid them at the feet of the apostles and yes. said to them, or really didn't say, but implied, here, do with this money as you yes. see fit. Because there was great need in the church. But do with this money. Ananias and Sapphira had no comprehension of the spirit and the move of God at that time. And it was so strong that God couldn't tolerate their lies. And so is it with this time. God's not going to be tolerating our lies. God's, as um, Sister Denise said, God wants our fidelity. Mm. Our fidelity. We have to continue to give. Yeah. No matter what our pocketbook says, we have to continue to give. We have to continue to meet. We have to continue to do those things God has called us to do mm -hmm. because we live in this day. We are not going to escape. The sun shines on the just and the unjust, and the rain falls on the just and the unjust. Mm -hmm. We yeah. go through these things, yeah. but we stand up victorious mm -hmm. in these things, and we still are the light of the world. Yes, We have to be careful as... I am tying a bow around this these messages. 
we still have to be very careful what we say. We decree and declare that we live in the secret place and no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against us, we condemn because we have that of power and authority. We tread on scorpions and serpents and we have all power of the enemy such that nothing shall any means harm us. Through thee, our, the Bible says, will we push down our enemies through thy name will we tread them under that rise up against us. We have power and authority over these demons, the demons of darkness. We have power over authority over them. Mm -hmm. So nothing shall by any means harm us. We have to be, um, as we have to understand what our battle is, and we have to fight the good fight of faith. We lay hold on eternal life. We must do it. Paul is a good example. Let me just not get as the preachers say, let me not get ahead of myself yeah. and back up. But the Bible says, many are the afflictions of the righteous. We have to understand that afflictions will come, tribulation will come, mm -hmm. problems will not, it, we will not escape out of having problems. I can attest to that. Mm. We have a target on our backs. And the only reason why this world hasn't gone to, you know what, in a handbag mm. is because of the power of the living God that works through the church. Yes. Yes. That works through the church. Mm -hmm. But many are the afflictions of the righteous. But what is the end of that scripture? Mm. Crickets. What is it? <laughs> many are the, <laughs> many are the uh, uh, afflictions of the righteous, but crickets. Yes. Come on, you have to know this scripture. It's Psalms 34, 19. But the Lord delivers them out of them all. A-L-L. Mm. All. Oh, mm. you can rest assured that in this world, Jesus told his disciples and apostles, you will have troubles, tribulation. Mm -hmm. But be of good cheer. Mm -hmm. I have overcome the world. The world. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. We are not walking into this with blinders on. We are not walking into this, these days um, ignorantly. Yes. Right. We are not. We are not. What's the scripture about ignorance? Anyway, mm -hmm. we are not doing it. <laughs> we have to walk into this stage with our eyes open and fully armed. Mm -hmm. And being armed and dangerous. Mm -hmm. As Sister Charlene says, we have to know our, what we're warring against. We have to know that we're in a war. We have to know that the battle is not ours, but it's God. But we have to be prepared for the battle. Yes. Amen. We have to have the whole armor of God, our helmet of salvation, our breastplate of righteousness, our loins girt about with truth, our feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Our loin, um, our, we put on a, sh a shield of faith. We take our shield of faith. The Bible says, wherewith we are able to quench the f mm -hmm. all the fiery darts of the enemy Amen. and the word. We have to be armed and dangerous and prepared. We don't get up one morning not prepared and the next morning prepared. It takes preparation. It takes time. It takes spending time with the word in the word and spending time with God and understanding what we are what we should be doing. But the the bottom line is we should be fighting. Mm -hmm. We can fight both in the natural and the spiritual, but our spiritual fight is most important. Mm -hmm. Most important. We cannot go out into the world with having prepared. So we know we've already heard about the weapons of our warfare, but there are five elements or more to the waging war and winning the battle. This is what we need to be doing. We need to be on the offense and not on the defense. That's we right. need to be taking yeah. our battle to yeah. the devil and yeah. saying Amen. no. Yeah. That's right. This is our world. This is our territory. And you, we ex get out. Yes. Amen. Amen. Kate, Kate, Kat Kerr said, has a t-shirt and a saying that I don't do demons. Yeah. <laughs> we don't do demons. Amen. We don't tolerate demons. It is our under our authority to cast them out and pull them down. Mm -hmm. Praise God. That's what we do. 
-hmm. We are strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Mm -hmm. And we rehearse that daily. Mm -hmm. We have to know a couple of things and I'll be done. I'm putting a pretty bow around what I heard today. And this is the spirit of the only the spirit of the Lord can do this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. One of the elements to our waging the war and winning it and winning it. You must know why you're fighting and what you're fighting. Mm -hmm. You have to know who your commanding officer is. Not only that, you have to know who you are. Mm -hmm. And you have to know the enemy. Mm -hmm. (laughs) You're not going to win a battle, any battle, naturally or spiritually, if you don't know who you're fighting and how to Mm -hmm. fight Mm -hmm. who you're fighting. We have to be, and then once you know that, you have to be prepared. And then you wage effective warfare against the devil. Now, you need to know, let's go back. You need to know who you are fighting and what you are fighting for. You are fighting an enemy. Mm -hmm. But what are you fighting for? You're going to advance the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. You are going to destroy the works of the devil. In Luke 4, 18, it says, somebody said this scripture today, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he's anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He sent me to heal up the brokenhearted, the recovery of sight to the blind, to preach deliverance to the captive, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. That's why we're fighting. To impact our world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because Jesus said, none should perish, that all should hear the gospel. He is not willing that any should perish, but have everlasting life. God so, 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 so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That's why we're fighting. That's the purpose for our fight. Amen. You have to know that you, who is your commanding officer? God. Mm-hmm. God. Who can do nothing right. He's the greatest. He's the best. He's the most powerful. Amen. He's the strongest of all. He's the almighty. He's the king of kings and lord of lords. He's the Elohim. He is the Eloah. He's El Shaddai. He's mm-hmm. Adonai. He's the all-consuming fire. And the list goes, as my student said, and dot, 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 dot. It goes on and on and on. He is our commanding officer. So we, we just say, we used to have the same when I say jump, you say how high, yes. how high. So when God says jump, you say how high. Mm-hmm. When God says go, you go. When stop, you stop. He is our commanding officer. We Amen. take orders mm-hmm. only from him, yeah. only from him. Uh, now, don't don't get that twisted, as they say. <laughs> we listen to our authorities, and God speaks to those mm-hmm. above us, and we take Com- commands from those people. I don't mean being off, getting off, mm-hmm. but we take orders from God. Mm-hmm. And it's important. Let me just sidetrack here. It's important that you're in the right place, mm-hmm. in the right church, to know that they're hearing from God, to know that they uh, that you can follow those orders. Okay. Mm-hmm. But you need to know who you are. You're in the army now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You're a soldier. There's no excuse. You get up at dawn and you march when the mm-hmm. when the commander says march and you, you stop when the commander says uh, stop. You are not your own. You're bought with a price. You, you have given up your rights. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when you mm-hmm. go into the army or the, uh, the service, you give up your rights, really. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Your yeah. personal opinions, you have no opinion. Yeah. You have none. It's for the commanding officers to tell you what to do. They don't, you don't even tell them. You can't dress like you want to dress. Mm-hmm. You can't go where you want to go. Mm-hmm. You can't do what you want to do. You're in the army now. You're in the army now. You have given up your rights as a private citizen. You're part of a collective. Mm -hmm. You're part of a group. You're part of a body that has, that should have one single purpose to do the will of your commanding officer. You are to be and think of yourself as being armed and dangerous. You are to think of yourself that you stand flat footed and Speak and command those things and decree and declare and it shall be done. No, you shall not come my, now my dwelling. No sickness doesn't belong here. No mm-hmm. demons don't act crazy in my house. Mm-hmm. You have authority to 
Um, you can take authority over every atmosphere you visit. I heard, um, he's gone now. One of the prophets saying that same thing. Any atmosphere that you enter, doesn't matter whether it's a grocery store or a school or anywhere mm -hmm. you go, you take authority over that atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Anywhere, mm -hmm. anywhere. You don't allow, demons have a knack, uh, can follow you home. You draw a bloodline around your home and say, no, you cannot come in here. No, no. I know I drive for um, one of the ride chairs, and there are times when people will get out of my car and I start thinking different thoughts. Those were not my thoughts. They left some spirits behind, and I have mm -hmm. to command those spirits to get out That's right. and not come and not bother me and not come in my home because they have a way of kind of following you mm -hmm. home. Yes. And sometimes we take... We, we think that this is our matter. It's something that we did. It's something that we said, mm -mm, mm -mm. it may not be. It may not be. It may be that we have these demons trying to atta attach themselves to us that come from other places that we've traveled. Now, we can't stop going into stores and things like that, but we can stop the enemy That's from right. attacking us and That's following right. us and influencing us. So we need to know who we are. We're more than a conqueror. We're blessed. We walk in the blessing, the blessing of the Lord. It maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. Jesus made a show of the devil openly, triumphing over him in it. We are more than conquerors in him. Mm -hmm. We have authority okay and so the reason for us being a, a, a soldier we have to end i've already um reviewed this enforce the agenda for our nation and to please your a commanding officer our nation we live in the kingdom of god that's our nation our nation our nation is the kingdom of god 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 tells you what to do and under and you are under someone else's command god wants from us excellence mm. That's part of who we are. We don't see, you see these display of soldiers as they show their army, you know, yes. these parade of soldiers. Yes. At their, yes. That's excellence. Mm -hmm. They're demonstrating mm -hmm. their authority and their power in their nation and showing you we march as one man, as one people, and we can destroy you. Mm -hmm. Don't mess with us. That's what we should be doing. Marching as one man mm -hmm. under one authority and showing the devil we can destroy you. Mm. We can. We have that authority. So really quickly, we have to know the weapons and our uh, our protection. We've already gone over it. The weapon of our warfare is righteousness, truth, peace, faith, the word of God. And there's so many weapons beyond that. We have to pray. That's our weapon, speaking in tongues, the blood of Jesus, submission, communion, fasting, prayer and worship. Praise and worship are our weapons. And singing and making melody in our hearts to God. Mm -hmm. That's a very important a weapon. And it, when the devil attacks, we just sing. Mm -hmm. Then the devil attacked me so this week, and he rose his ugly snake head, that it was just funny. It was just hilarious to me. Mm -hmm. You come at me one way, mm -hmm. and then you turn around and come at me another way. It was just funny. Because no weapon formed against me shall prosper. You're a loser. I Amen. have to win this battle. It's already won. It's already Amen. done. Okay. And then we have to know the nature of the battle. The approaches to war. Is it offenses or defense? Let's go on the offense. That's but right. there are sometimes yeah. we have to be on the defense because mm -hmm. the enemy has already attacked. Mm -hmm. An offensive is Joshua, an example of Joshua. He's going into Israel and he's taking every, he's taking all the land, go in and possess the land. That was Joshua's job, to be on the offense and kick those people out of their land. It belonged to them. So we have to go into the enemy's camp and kick the enemy out of our land because it belongs to us. A defensive example is Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat was being threatened by Sennacherib um, from Babylon. And this and um, Sennacherib says, "You can't win this, and I'm gonna get. I'm gonna show you why you can't win this because we've already taken this city, and we've already taken this city, mm -hmm. and we've already taken that city, and already taken that city. And you think that you're going to be able to stand on this city? Yep." Because it was called Jerusalem. Mm. Yep, because it was called God's city. Yep, because mm. Je Joshua went to God and said, what are we going to do about this? And he fasted and prayed and found the answer in God. 
Absolutely, yep. We can take it. And so God told them what to do, and they prepared for the battle. And guess what? They were prepared, but they didn't have to fight it. Mm. There are going to be times that are coming that you will be prepared for the battle, and that's what God's answer asking you to do. But there will be times when you won't have to fight it. Just go home and go to bed. I'm ready. Amen. Go home and go to bed, cause this, this is, this is on me. I'm gonna destroy your enemy. Okay. So basically, I let's see. Did I cover my territory? I covered basically my territory. You have to know your enemy. Mm -hmm. You have to know who he is, and you have to know how how to fight him. All uh, um, you have to know that he is a. a a force to be reckoned with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He walketh about as a lion, seeking whom he, de mm -hmm. he may devour. De Thank you. Seeking <laughs> whom he yes. may devour. And he's going to try to devour you. Mm -hmm. His main target at this time is the church mm -hmm. and God's people. Yes. That's his main target right now. Mm -hmm. Because without the church, I said it earlier, this world is headed for the the. Uh, the takeover of the spirit of the Antichrist. Yeah. But he can't do it because of the church. So we have to know what the enemy is about. This stuff is going to fall pretty soon, but not without this raging idiot being a raging idiot and showing his false teeth. Mm. Mm -hmm. Showing his false teeth, but we win the battle. Mm -hmm. He's a created being. What does that mean? He's a created being. What does mm. that mean? He's created. He is a created being, but <laughs> come on, class. You can tell me more than that. Yeah. He's a created being, but what he's does that mean? God. He's, he's not a, God. He's not God. <laughs> God right. created him. Yeah. God, I, you know the saying, I birthed you into this world, and I can take you out. Yeah, <laughs> same man. God same birthed mama. him in the world, and God can take him out. That's right. Yeah. Amen. He's, he's nothing to be feared. Amen. He's no. nothing to be feared at all. So we thank God. I just kind of got up to tie a pretty bow around everything that has been already said already. But we know that when we fight this battle, tribulations will come. Hard times may come because you are in the battle. You know, Peter and James, Peter and John at the at temple healed this lame man. Mm -hmm. But they didn't do it without consequence. People mm. were looking. Yeah. People who were looking and seeing the work of God and didn't like it at all. So what it, what came after that? Persecution. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. But the Bible said, blessed are you when men shall revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my name's sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad. Yes. For great is your reward in heaven. Mm. So we can look to be persecuted. No big deal. We can look to be, you know, this word is coming to mind, but please forgive me. It won't happen to many of us. Martyred, but no big deal. What's going to happen to those who are martyred? They'll enter the glory of God. Yes. The glorious, the most glorious of, of all, all places in heaven. Mm. Mm. We can expect those kinds of things, but we expect to be victorious in 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 whatever we do, yeah. because that's who we are. He always calls us to triumph. He's called us to be victorious. He's called us to be strong. He's called us to fight the good fight and lay hold of eternal life. He's called us to be. I often wonder, one last thing, I often wonder how Paul did what he did, because Paul said, Paul was bragging a little on himself, and I don't know if I wrote it down. It's in one of my notes. He said, um, when he was first saved, Jesus said, go tell Paul um, that I'm going to show him all the things that he must mm -hmm. suffer for the namesake, for my namesake. Mm -hmm. And here's what Paul suffered. He said, I, 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 are they ministers of Christ? I speak as a fool. I more in labors more abundant, in stripes above measure, in prisons more frequently, in depths oft of the Jews. Five times did I receive forty stripes save one. The church is going to persecute the church. Okay. Thrice was I beaten with rods. Once I was was I stoned. Three thrice I suffered shipwreck. A night and a day have I been in the deep. 
in journeyings often, in perils in water, in perils of robbers, in perils by my own countrymen, in perils by the heathen, in perils by the city, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils in, among false brethren, in weariness, in painfulness. Is he telling you that this life was just absolutely hunky-dory and ha-ha-ha mm -hmm. on vacation? Mm -hmm. Paul was in the middle of the, of, of the battle, mm -hmm. and he endured like a good soldier. So we need to know that no matter the battle, we may not suffer things like Paul suffered, but we may. Mm -hmm. There are those of us, of, watch your words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, well, there are those who may suffer tremendous things, but we have overcome. There are people who are paying a great price right now that we need to be aware of for yeah. speaking the truth. Yeah and uncovering things that have been going on. And their their families have been in jeopardy. They've been blackmailed. They've been all kinds of things. They've been put in prison unjustly. They, you know, death has come to people who try to tell the truth. Prophets have to have bodyguards mm -hmm. because their life is in jeopardy Sorry. for being prophets and telling the truth. That doesn't sound pleasant, but our pleasantry comes in knowing Christ. Our presentry comes in knowing that we are doing what Christ wants us to do. That we are good soldiers. We fight the good fight of faith. We lay hold on eternal life. We go through. We come out victorious. And so I thank you for your time. Thank God. In Jesus' name.